Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have an Indeset tumble dryer, which uh, is not spinning. Uh, I've had uh, a quick look and it is the belt at fault. So I'm going to show you how to change this. So to get into the axis of the inside, we need to take off these two screws first. So I'm going to take off a screw there. One there, one there, one there, one there, to take the side panel off. Then we're going to come around to here and take this panel off. Same screws. And this will just give it a little bit of flexibility. And we're going to take this cover off. There's a few other bits to undo. And then you'll be able to gain a little bit of access to be able to slip the belt on. So on this one, one of the main reasons was why the belt actually perishes and goes to threads is because the pulley jams. So it's always worth checking the pulley and making sure it's nice and free. This one's not very good at all, so we've got a new one to go in as well. But I'll start to uh, carry on taking the other bits off. We need to take this off as well. This will give it a bit of flexibility. Now on the back here, you don't need to take this whole uh, panel off to expose the heater. You just need to undo these screws here because they go into the plastic. You can see, you see there's um, a screw up there, so it doesn't really matter, it's not going to do anything. So, you want to this back piece needs to come away from this plastic piece here. So, it's it's basically that one there, there's one on the bottom, one here, and one about that position. Take those off again. This will come away from the back and just give you a little bit of movement. So next thing to do is, obviously we've got the cover off there now. So this is like a little bearing in here. So you need to just take, you can see the metal pin, which goes through that. Take that out, take that out. You don't need to undo this screw here. You just need to pull this out. So you need some, some pliers just to straighten that out and then it'll slide out, okay? Um, the other bits we need to undo is a screw there and a screw there. If we undo those, that have enough movement then to be able to put the belt on. So a little bit fiddly taking this out, but once you get it all nice and straight, you will get it out. So try and make it as straight as you possibly can and it'll pop out. Don't lose this because you, uh, you do need to uh, put it back in. So with that taken out, we can then just take a little bush bearing, whatever you want to call it. So now I've got movement now, which obviously we need to take this uh, completely out. You see it moving there, so we've got a bit of movement there. So by pushing that like so, just with your thumb, you've got a bit of movement there and you can just slip the new belt behind. It's got a new, new pulley and a new belt, that's the numbers on there for them. So next we need to access uh, this section down here. So you need to pull these wires out of here. Give this a wobble. You want to get this out out of the way as well and you need to take this off okay next you see on here this this uh, fan needs to come off you see the little the two bits sticking up so you need uh, some snips on there or uh, some pliers sorry not snips and you just need to pull that off like so yeah don't lose that and then just give this a wobble there we go. Let's keep those two bits safe. So we're now going to take the pulley off. You got one, two. There's ten mil, I think. You need to pop those off. So you go. You got the uh, pulley off. You can see that is not even spinning. It's all jamming. So that's that's why the belt broke. So there's a nice new one, and uh, you can see if we spin it. In nice and freely. So you'll see on the back is a bit of a hook that needs to hook.
hook onto the top of here. Okay, so put it in like, like so, up on the top, and then line your bolt holes up and tighten them up. So all right, got your new belt. You'll notice that the belt has some ribs on the back. Okay, so you've got to make sure when you put it actually around the drum that the ribs are touching the drum. Okay. So we're going to feed that through and literally just push that out and pop it behind a little stub down there and push it around. All right, so you've got your belt on like so. Okay. You'll roughly see a little outline here. Just see a little outline of where the belt used to be. So put that on there. So thread it around there. So you need two hands, but you have to poke that around there and stretch the belt. Okay, once you get the belt on like so, yeah, you then then can just hold on to the drum and turn the drum and let it do the work for you. There we go. Keep turning it. Make sure that belt goes across into those ribs down the bottom there. There we go. There you go. So you've got it nice and centre there now. Okay, that's it. That's all on there. So tighten all, all this back up and um, that'll just make that Nice and free, it's just catching at the minute. You can probably hear a noise, it's just catching on the fan on the back there. So we're tightening all this back up, and um, that is how you replace the belt.